Welcome back to Kona. My current mission at the moment is to try to fix the snowmobile that's over there. And I was thinking I should probably head to the secret project just a little bit south of here to see if I could find some more of the missing parts. But before doing that, I wanted to take a better look around the yard here, make sure I wasn't missing anything. And I found the bench for the snowmobile, apparently. I, I was picturing the bench as more like an actual seat, but it was just like a pillow that was just on this thing here. Like the pillow lining that goes on this thing. That's what I took. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna drape it over or something. But yeah, I'm gonna take more of a look around here, see if there's other hidden goodies. Mowing the lawn is unnecessary at this time. That is true, Carl. That's a good observation. Oh, I think I just noticed something too. I think I can get onto the roof from here. Yeah. And I can probably jump from here over to there and then get to that bucket and find whatever the heck's in it. Or maybe I can like... Oh, build bridge. That's what the hammer's for. Dang, Carl, you work fast. Crazy Carl thought. Had no idea how to interpret a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. I'm perplexed by the fact that those thoughts don't appear after you've closed this thing and read it. It appears initially, almost as if it expects you to already know what it says. But like, before you even have a chance to read it, Carl starts commenting about it. I saw something in the woods on the solemn day of October 6th, 1970, no man should ever see. The aliens are here. They are roaming in our woods. They will invade us all from here down to sunny Mexico. They are massive, twice as tall as a man. They are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure the fact that I saw them means they broke their military code. They are after me. If you're reading this, it's too late. I have already been taken to the planet Elaheim to be experimented upon in a lab. They are punishing me for not doing anything when I witnessed that murder yesterday. When I saw William Hamilton kill someone. Farewell. So William Hamilton, according to that at least, killed somebody. And that was... Yesterday. I think that was, that was, that was yesterday, right? And then today, William themselves were killed. Okay, so I still need another ski track and the handlebars. Can't find anything else on this property, so I think it's time to head south. Let's see what that secret project is. Oh, also, I need to make sure I remember that I dropped some of my stuff at the house back there. I dropped the, uh, I dropped a bunch of empty bottles and the filled gas canister, since I don't need it. Just going here and I want to make sure I have room in my inventory to actually pick up whatever I find. Shit. Just the one. This led me to get surprisingly close. But a steak alone cannot subdue a starving stomach. An appetite comes with eating. Is Carl literally going to say that every single time I throw a steak? Mm. 
Whoa. There's a lot of those glowy steps here. Like it spent a lot of time here or came here many times. Looks like blood. And this was a grave, right? This is just like the thing. This is like the thing. Remember, one of the notes we read too said something about like the, the white man in the ice, right? I think this was the white man in the ice. I'm curious what that note is that we just added to our journal. Here it is. Who was at the bottom of this pit? An open grave, and it was certainly not for an animal. A small person, dug up recently, methodically. I'm not sure what question I should be asking. Why did someone dig them up, or why were they buried there in the first place? The blood, the disturbed burial site, the wounded victim treated at the doctor's office, all this leads to one conclusion. A deadly hunting accident. A young Cree woman in the wrong place at the wrong time. A scheme to keep it all hidden. What a mess. A young Cree woman in the wrong place at the wrong time? That's quite a conclusion to jump to. How'd you figure that out, Carl? How we doing on heat? Uh, halfway. The uh, flames uh, won't oh. grow without some help. Other uh, materials were required. Forgot to bring wood. Break fence if I had a crowbar. I'm guessing I can't just walk around it. It worked for the gate. Nope. Invisible wall that way. So this... Was this the secret project? Or am I not quite there yet? Not quite there. I need to get through there. Hmm. Okay. So... The ski... The ski that I need should be somewhere where they tried skiing. I don't know. Maybe on the... Like, can I go onto the... The lake? I assume the lake is frozen, right? But I doubt I would find the handlebar out there. I don't know, maybe this is a bigger project than I thought. Because I feel like it wants me to solve it, like, right now. But maybe it's a longer term thing? I don't know. I think it's time we finally had a vehicle. So I ran all the way back to the general store. Beautiful noise. Alright. Oh, I read this note, by the way. I don't think I ever read it on camera. The note but explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Yep, so it's one or the other. That's the main store, that's the garage. So now it's off, main store's on. Isn't that on? From power line? No. Turned off. Electricity from generator. Is it actually on and just every single light in this entire place is off? Other than that one? Oh, there we go. I don't know what I was doing wrong before. Uh, yeah, okay. It's very strange that literally none of these lights are on. And like, I don't even see any light switches or, oh, never mind. there's light switches. <laughs> God, even with these lights on though, this door is so grim and dark. I'm really looking forward to driving this thing again. I'm 
fill the gas can, although it's already full. So yeah, let's uh, let's use this as a place to store things. Okay, I dumped the, the gas can. Um, I dumped all my water bottles and also one of my med kits, because the med kits actually weigh quite a bit. I think that's pretty good. I could dump some of these tools that I don't use very often, but looking at my weight down here, I think I'm, I'm pretty set. Let's go for a ride. I wonder if the gas will be used up again, or if it's like, you know, now that I've filled it, I'm pretty much good to go. I should be good to go. It's not like I'm going to be actually traveling far enough to use up a significant amount of gas. Good on heat. Um, I guess I'm trying to look for the fuel gauge. That might be it there on the right side, but it's like kind of covered up by the hand. If you can't, if you can't really see it, then it probably doesn't matter. Oh, it's gonna be so much faster. I already love it. All right, first thing I want to take a look at is the ice cave. Back around the doctor's place. Well, a bit further than the doctor's place. Oh, crap. Right. This bridge. The one that I <laughs> said barely looks safe enough for feet, let alone a car. Especially this part. Ugh. Okay. Whew. Remember, do not read maps and drive. Do not be me. Almost there. Oh, it's so much fun to drive. The driving physics and controls and everything feel really good. Oof. So, I guess I could sort of drive this into the woods, but that seems like more a snowmobile kind of thing. So, I'm just going to leave this here on the road. lead up to the ice cave. They didn't even care about me. They were running away from something within the cave. What's in the cave? If they would run away from it. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It's oh crap! The bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Ooh. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Okay. So that is what I need that uh, caribou for to trade to that person for their clothes. I was wondering whether it's just an optional thing that just you know allows you to survive longer, exposed to the elements, or if there'd be somewhere that actually requires it. Now I know. Alright, so here's the Lachance's place again. This is the third place that was marked on the map after visiting the Tinkerer's house. The cave. Hopefully that doesn't require better clothes as well.
Wait, where's this cave? I don't see a cave. Oh, there it is. Oh. Dynamite! Whoa! Well. Now I know dynamite exists in the world. Can't wait to find it. Okay, um, I don't have any solid leads really on where to go next, so I think I just need to straight up explore. Um, since we're so close to it, there's another, it looks like there's another building here below Bedard's house. Just be a little bit more down here and on the right. Probably a mailbox to market. fled, it was getting too dangerous. More people live in North Monaston. It will be safer there. Genairoi. Ah, it's got power. It's always a lovely surprise when that happens. Yeah, I should probably just pile a bunch of wood in the back of the truck. Oh! Dutch oven. Wonder what's in there. People really like their orange juice here, huh? Too many orange juices, in the words of Carl. The Fantasy, page one. Hmm. Don't feel any particular need to read this. Seems to be the story of somebody who fantasizes about murdering people. Simone de Beauvoir, Claude Lévi-Strauss, Hannah Arendt, Roland Barthes. Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal-leaning bookcase. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far-off land? Carl, you're terrible. Cookie jars are always too high to reach.
the couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Monopoly. You win if you pass go. <laughs> what the heck? Novel, page two. You could read this if you'd like. Three something, I think it's for a rifle. Or is it? Actually, um, not consumable. I think equipment. Yeah, so I think this shows the ammo. Three loaded into it. Zero in reserve. So yeah, that definitely didn't count for the pistol. Not a single weapon was left. All of them were gone. Novel page four. Page three. I think that's it for this place. It's a curious line running down the center of this room. I doubt it means anything. Okay, well I just transferred some, some of the wood and some more stuff into the truck, grabbed the last piece of wood from here just to carry on me, and I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, well it looks like we've explored pretty thoroughly all the stuff here, so I think it's time to go further north, or northeast, up this road.